Hello, is this thing in? Testing, one, two, three. Uh, testing, one, two, three. But anyway, yeah, this episode's gonna be done live. Well, sort of, I mean, it's still a pre-recorded video, but the, the commentary is live. Look at how in sync everything is. Down, down, left, up, up. Wait, no, I, I, I get the timing wrong. Anyway, let's play a video game, maybe. If it'll let us. How do we, there we go. Start the application, please. Um... Shit, is that playing the gun griffin for the Saturn? Um, come on, do it. Okay, let me go push the button on my Sega Saturn. I'm so power cycling. Hey, can you guys hear me from this distance? Oh, I'm so far away. And then back on again. Okay, I have just completely wasted everybody's time thus far. But I assure you there is a game that will come sooner or later. Or else. Okay, so here we go. Look at all these Vigi games. All of the Sega Saturn library together here at last. No, no, hold your applause. Alrighty, here we go with Gun Griffin, the Eurasian Conflict. I'm gonna try to talk like that one guy from 2013 era YouTube, Zefranc01 or whatever it was, like an old timey newscaster. We're gonna be playing everybody's favorite game, Gun Griffin, made by Game Arts, who assisted in the development of Smash Brothers Brawl many years later. You guys remember this is a Franco one? He was funny. This type of sea creature is typically referred to as the sea pig. The best way to determine the difference between a sea pig and a land... Wait. Fuck. I think I messed it up. Ah, oh, fuck. It started over. No one's gonna see this anyway. Th this subaqueous creature is often referred to as the sea pig. The best way to determine the difference between a sea pig and a land pig is to simply ask it which one it is. If when doing so, your mouth immediately fills up with water, know that you are speaking to the sea pig and not the land pig. Alright, there, I got it. I got the monologue down. It took two attempts, but we did it. Okay, let, let's try to focus on Gun Griffin, the Eurasian conflict here. That's what all you chumps came here for. So did you see how they mentioned uh, global warming in the opening like a minute ago? This game's political. In the, I'm sure there's some a conservative pundit out there who probably it supports the villains of this game. And all oh, those pink-haired SJWs want to not waste the last of the Earth's dwindling resources. Well then, how are we supposed to build giant tanks and mechs, huh? Okay, enough of this. Let's actually play the game. We're, we're halfway through the freaking episode already, and we haven't even gotten started. So here we go. Gun Griffin, the Eurasian Conflict. There are many, many complex characters in the Eurasian Conflict. So we'll do beginner mode, since we're all just a bunch of idiots. The controls in this are very strange, to say the least. I don't know why I keep talking like this, just because it's live. This is how I sound normally, and I have to, I have to slow it down in post. And since this is live commentary, you get to hear my real voice, where I talk like a, a newscaster all the time. Okay, so this is fairly straightforward. Just point and shoot. 
Here we have a viewfinder that displays our ammunition. You can switch between weapons like so, but we only have two out of the four weapons. To walk forward, press the let me look at the controller X button once and then press it a second time to go faster. Someone is shooting me, so we will return the favor in kind. This gets very chaotic very quickly. Do not walk out of the war zone boundary. Um, uh, press that button to make the screen turn green. Frick. Forward, forward, go, go forward, please. Uh. I do not know why there is a dedicated button to make the screen turn green. This is the worst fucking episode ever. Uh, dearie. Uh, let's do the machine gun. Blap, 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 blap. Or I mean, uh, blap, blap, blap. Blap, blap, blap. <laughs> the yellow number 14, or 13 rather, indicates the number of remaining enemies. There is a command where you can leap up into the air. It's not that one, evidently. Yes, press that button to leap up into the air and rain death upon your enemies. <laughs> what in the fuck is this episode? Yeah, come on, get over here. Take this. Come on. There we go. Man, what? Oh, it's gotta recharge. Silly me, you have full health in training mode, so you do not have to concern yourself with being shot a bunch. You have the wrong number. Come on, fuck it. Don't make me come over there. There we go. We got him. Okay, let's play the actual thing now. Let's, let's get out of training mode. You get the idea. Let's do an actual mission. Here we go. So there's Eurasia, just like the title said. Okay, here it comes eventually. Sylphid, is that what it said? That's a different game. That's for the Sega Saturn. Maybe we'll play that someday on the... Ch oh, I gotta read this in the silly voice that I keep doing. The war between the PU and the APC, which started in northern Africa, has escalated as China and Japan initiate further steps to capture the Ukraine in the hopes of solving their increasing food crisis. The PEU and the UAC have sent emergency forces from the U.S. Okay, enough. Enough is enough. I have had it with these... Yeah, you, you know the joke from Snakes on a Plane. This just sucks. Okay, here we go. They're gonna drop me. Hooey! I don't think I'm ever going to do a live episode again. This is just trash. I can get over here. I'm going to get you. I'm a coming. He's very fast. He's so strong. Okay, so we don't have the yellow indicator of how many enemies remain. So we just got to use our imagination. It was, where are the guys? Where is the man? Right over here, evidently. Yeah. We got the ATM rockets now. Um, that didn't really do anything. I'll just stick to the rockets. Rocket to the moon. Remember that from from Game Grumps from back when they didn't totally suck ass. I remember those days, vaguely. Oop, there's a helicopter, is, oh wait, is that, that's our supply helicopter, I think, we gotta, 
We get a whack over there and it'll give us our supplies. As they said in Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit, Mob Supplies! Get your angry mob supplies here! Okay, let's, let's try to get back to the helicopter. And then we'll just stand there like a bunch of fools. A little further. No, 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 no. Okay, um. Okay, refueling. Good. Good. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. Okay, well, the 10 minute mark passed uh, about 47 seconds ago, so uh, thank you for joining me on this episode. Maybe I'll keep doing live episodes from here on out. We, we barely even played the game, but hey, it's not like anybody's gonna care. So yeah, good night everybody.